Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and I've got another video for Tonic Studios today and this one is another showcase set of dies and stamps and it's called the Coffee Collection. It's really really lovely because as you can see we've got coffee mugs here, the outline and then some dies that make detail in the centre. There's a lid, there's a coffee cup and then this which would be the kind of froth pattern on the top. Some steam I would say that's supposed to be here and here and a lovely little um, debossed steam pattern, a sugar cube, a teaspoon, coffee beans, all the stuff that you'll need to make a really beautiful card. And then this one, that sort of whipped cream that could go on the top. And I can, oh yeah, there's a mallow. So I can just imagine that on top of this or this, or even on a cupcake, if you've got a cupcake die or a stamp or something like that. And then you can put these mallows in. That's going to be really lovely and some beautiful stamps to go along with it. Some quite cheesy sentiments in there, but if you like that kind of thing, they're really cute too. So fancy a cuppa, a cup of coffee makes everything better. Treat yourself, I love you, a latte. Brew, how have you been? All sorts of things like that. And these go really, really well with this. Um, do you know, I just want to get started. So I'll set this over and pick out some lovely papers and card. Mm. Any real colour would go with that sort of beige, taupe, cream, brown, all those lovely coffee shades um, with a bit of gold in it. Um, or you could just go for something completely different. But let's see, I'm going to have a look and I'll be back in a minute or two. Thank you. So don't forget too, before I start right into the video, that if you haven't been here before in, in my video channel, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of video because there's always plenty more. I do content creation for tonic so there's lots of tonic videos i do several things for myself as well so if you're interested in craft at all and card making i'd love you to subscribe thanks very much i've gone ahead and prepared a lot of pieces here and this is a very very simple card but it's quite elaborate the way it, it works out in the end so there's it would be the kind of card that you would just give to someone special. I think it's not one you're going to be making every day of the week, but I hope you enjoy this. Um, I've chosen some of the papers from the Harvest Moon trend. Uh, actually, all of it's from the Harvest Moon trend, uh, from this little pad here, and then this as well is one of the A4. You see there, the lovely texture in that one. So what I'm going to do then is just start off with the basic card and then we'll start to decorate it. and. Everything's sitting here, so I'll be able to show you just exactly what I've done. I haven't actually used those stamps yet, but everything's ready to roll. So, first of all, I've taken a 12 by 12 piece of ivory white card. I've actually lost a die in the process of this, so if I find it here, I'm going to be really, really happy. <laughs> so a 12 by 12 piece of Craft Perfect card. And first of all, I'm going to fold that in half this way. You just be very, very careful and make sure you get those lined up perfectly. Okay, and then burnish that along that edge. Do the same the other way so that it's now folded into four. Just make sure everything's perfectly lined and then score along there. Now what you're going to do next is take two of these corner pieces and we're going to fold them back. So right into that corner, like that. If you find this easier to do with a scoring tool, feel free to just run along that line from this point to this point with a, well maybe an embossing tool or something and a steel ruler. But this is, for the purposes of this video and this uh, card, this is exactly what I'm going to do here. Just put it into the corners like that. And then, uh, see that one's not quite right, so probably just make sure I get that. Yep, here we are. And there. So I'll just zoom that out a little bit so you can see. Yeah, so there's the 12 by 12. You should be able to see that okay there. So it's folded in four. 
just make sure everything's really well burnished. We've got these corners folded back here and it, follow that point down and then from the centre line to the end here we're just going to cut along that with a craft knife. Okay, so now the way the card is going to fold, it's going to set up like this. So this one end here will fold across and then that's the way the card will set up. So I want to decorate these two pieces here. So I've taken some of the card, some of the paper from that paper pad and I'm going to put that on. So I've cut this square from the paper pad to 14 centimetres square and then I've cut it diagonally. I've done the same for the other side. 14 centimetres square, cut diagonally and then the piece that's going to be folded over at the bottom, I've done exactly the same, a 14 centimetre square and that's going to be glued on there. When I've done that then I'll come back and show you the little easel part that fits onto the bottom here and this should look really cute. Also when I turn this over th that will be the back and front of the card here and here because this is how the card will then fold this way and these need decorated as well so I'll just Finish that and stick all these on. these pieces ready and just where this folds over inside here I'm going to put a little easel card so the card will then sit up like this and the easel part will open up so I've taken some of this beautiful card I'll add the name up above there and this is from the, Har the Harvest Moon Trend it's pearlescent and I've cut it to 10 centimeters across by 20 I folded it in half and scored it. I've done exactly the same with the top to make a tiny easel card. And then I'm going to glue that or, or uh, tape that on inside the centre there. And you just want to make sure that it fits flat, um, you know, fits perfectly in there so that it's uh, sitting at the right angle. And to do that, I'm going to put some of this decorative paper on. So this thick piece then looks like it's turned out at 10 by 10. So we've got this piece now at 10 by 10, so I've cut this one at 9.5, that's going to go there. I have cut this piece to 9.5 by 4.5 and, and that's going to go on there and that will be the basis for my little easel. Then I have taken some of the dies from the coffee set here. So you can see I have taken this outline die with the pearlescent card and I've cut it here and then I have used this die with this one together and I've cut out this lovely shape and then just at the moment I have mislaid the two dies but it's the oval one and the one with this little heart in and I've cut that out in ivory the same as the front of the card that's going to go on there and I'm going to attach that on there now the, what I think is a really nice cute little bit if I can find all my bits and pieces I have die cut this little spoon from Silver Mirror card and I have put 3D foam pads on there and that is going to be the little stopper for my easel and I've taken some uh, glitter card and it's actually called Sugar Crystal and I've made little sugar lumps with that you see there the shine of that and they're going to go beside the spoon so I'll put all that together and then I'll set that into the centre of the card 
That's the little easel in place and that looks really, really cute. And then I've gone ahead with these three dies here, you can see them. And I've cut them out twice in the ivory card and I've just put them up here. So you can see there and then whenever the card is folded up so that it's sitting as it should when it's opened, you can see this up in here. And then I have taken this little die and the little leaf one in some of the patterned paper again and I've cut that out twice somewhere the other one's there somewhere uh, there it is and I'm going to glue those on up here so those will be decorative pieces on that as well I need to zoom that out because it's quite hard to get all of this card into the just into this, the camera there but I'm really happy I found this this is a thing I do all the time and maybe I should tell you so that you don't do it but when I tape these dies together so that I can put them through the machine and uh, cut out the two bits, that, that was the piece for here I've left my sticky tape on and I have actually emptied my bin in my craft room I've been outside and emptied the one there, I've emptied the one in the kitchen I've checked everywhere I've been since last night and I couldn't find those anywhere I've opened things, I've gone through paper pads and shaken them just in case it was inside. And actually this morning when I lifted a box, this was stuck to the underneath of it. So I found it and I'm happy, but I remember not to do that again. And I put it on my magnetic stand as I usually do. So I'm just going to go ahead now and set this down like this and glue these on to the top corners. So there we are, that's that all decorated. Sorry, I should have said first of all that when I cut these out, obviously they've had to be mirrored on this side. So I just burnished the edges of that so that it wasn't as obvious that that was the underside of the die cut. And then glued them on. And there we are. There's the card so far. And then you just fold down the easel, fold that up, and there's your card. So it just opens up like that. Fold down the easel, fold up and fold over. Now this is the front and this is the back and to keep that together I've cut a piece of the beautiful satin card, I'll have the name of that on the screen there and I've just cut it four centimetres wide by the full length of the A4 sheet and I've taken some of this and I've cut this in because this is uh, four centimetres wide this one is three and a half and it's by ten and a quarter I think, I'll check for you. Sorry, fourteen and a quarter, this is well I checked. Fourteen and a quarter. Now I didn't put it the whole way around because it, it makes it quite clumpy and too thick at the join there and then it doesn't look right. So I've taken two pieces and that will go on there. But before I glue that on I'm going to put a piece of ribbon and just attach that in with a piece of double sided tape. Um, I just actually make sure that I cut that and stick it on and then some glue but I'm going to put the ribbon in between the two if you can see that there and then I'll be able to tie that at both sides and that will fit nicely around the card so I'll go ahead and do that
finish off the little band for around the outside then I have just taken the same little die for the circle here and then the little leaf one and that will match then on the outside as well and I've taken some of the malted milk I think that's it yeah malted milk crystal drops and added them on here and that's that card finished so I hope you like that don't forget I don't think I said at the start but don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these videos and uh, anyhow I'll be back in a couple of minutes with another card so see you then. For my second card I've gone ahead and cut out lots of pieces with the dies there. Um, I've used some of the coffee cream pearlized card and I've cut it and put it onto a 5 by 7 card and then I'm going to use this shimmer powder so it's maroon spark and I'll use that with some spritzed water and make a little background to put on top of the coffee cream and then I'll add all the rest of this. So there's the card with this is this is all nicely dried now and I have used the large die the large coffee cup die to cut this one out. I've also used the little you can see this die here just to take this piece out but I want to glue it back in again but I, I did want to have it removed so that there is that cut line around there. And then I'm going to make a little piece of um, corrugated card to go across there. I've die cut the coffee mug with the, the large die there and I wanted to make a little holder for around it and I don't know whether you've got one of these little gadgets or not it's for corrugating paper if you haven't I'm sure a scored effect would do or actually you can even use this uh, pattern paper that has the stripes in it and it might look similar as well so anyhow what I'm going to do then is I want a piece just to wrap around the outside and obviously the smaller dies there are going to just give you pieces for the inside. So I've taken this large die again and I want to cut a piece to fit here so I'm going to just draw outside the die on both sides like that and then we'll take the just move that down and you'll sort of gauge where you want it and then using the top shape here sorry the bottom the top shape needs turned around sorry um, and we'll put that there just to join up those two lines and draw across there move it down and draw across there just so that those two lines are parallel and then you've got a piece here you'll have the pencil lines on there but don't worry you can use the other side so what I've done is just cut around that I'm going to cut a little bit outside that line as you can see there that will give me enough to tuck in behind and then follow that line around like that and I didn't leave enough on that side but you get the idea um, yeah that looks pretty good and then I'm going to put it through my little corrugator Now you can see how this works, you just put it onto your coffee cup and tuck it in behind. So before I glue the corrugated card down, I've got this piece cut with the smaller die set, the smaller die that goes into the centre there. I'll add this on top here. Then I've used this die just with white card and then I've used it again with white card with the extra die on top so I've got these two die cuts and I'm going to glue one on top of the other that is going to go there I've used this outline die with white card again and then I've used this die with the pattern die on the coffee cream card 
and that has given me this piece which I'm going to glue on here and I will just add that on at the bottom. I've cut another little glitter card sugar cube and I've used the white, sp the white card with the spoon to make a little spoon for here and then I've used this little die, see it there, with the coffee and coffee cream pearlized and I've used that one along with this one to make this little one which says cool beans that's going to go there and then I've used a tiny little die this little one to cut out twice from the patterned paper and that's going to go on there and that's another cute little card so I'll just glue all that together These are the two cards then that I made in the video and showed you all the pieces and how, how to make them. Um, I've also got a third card so it's not going to be included in the video but um, it will be on both my blog and Tonic blog and I'll put a link down below if you want to have a little look and see and it'll give you another idea for a third card from this set. Um, and I'll have all my affiliate links to all the products as well and I should say again once again that I actually do really appreciate everybody who buys from those so it doesn't cost you any more but I do get a little commission from that and I appreciate it a lot so thank you very very much and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.